Taiwan is situated between the Asian continent's southeastern coast and the East Asian islands scattered across the western Pacific Rim. Japan and the Ryukyu Islands are to the north, the Philippine Islands are to the south, and mainland China is to the west. Taiwan is a long, narrow island that stretches north to south. The island is approximately 395 kilometers long vertically and 144 kilometers wide, with a total land area of approximately 36,000 square kilometers. Taiwan is known around the world for its towering mountains, with many peaks rising 3,000 meters above sea level. Taiwan's Yushan, Jade Mountain, is nearly 4,000 meters high, making it the highest peak in Northeast Asia. Taiwan has many spectacular landscapes and unusual topography due to its varied geography. Aside from the steep mountains, Taiwan's natural assets include beautiful coastal scenes. If you enjoy learning about different countries and cultures, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Watch till the end of this video, I will share with you where the widest waterfall in Taiwan. Here are the top 10 attractions. 1. Taipei 101. Taipei 101, at 1,667 feet, 508 meters, was the world's tallest building when it was completed in 2004. Dubai's Burj Khalifa surpassed it in 2010. It is a Taipei landmark that houses offices, restaurants, and a multi-level shopping complex, as well as indoor and outdoor observatories with panoramic views of the city. Taiwan 101 Mall is an international shopping destination that offers luxury items, fashion, and fine dining. The finest in fashion and fine dining from around the world can be found at Taipei 101 Mall. Our customers' wishes are carefully considered in a world-class space that combines sensory delights, a wonderful atmosphere, and architectural aesthetics, giving form to limitless imagination. You can enjoy your shopping experience in total comfort and relaxation here. Taipei 101 Mall joins the ranks of world-class shopping districts like New York's Fifth Avenue, Paris's Champs-Élysées, and Rome's Via Condotti, with flagship stores and all new design concepts to provide consumers with the most diverse range of shopping options. 2. Zhou Fun. Zhou Fun, a mountaintop former gold mining town on Taiwan's northeast coast, is a popular day trip from Taipei. Visitors and locals alike flock to Zhou Fun Old Street because it encapsulates the best of Taiwan in one small package, rich history, atmospheric lanes and tea houses, breathtaking views, and uniquely Taiwanese snacks at every turn. Aside from trying some delicious hot or cold, depending on the season, tapioca and sweet potato ball soup, Zhou Fun's best known specialty, have a cup of tea at Zhou Fun A Mei Tea House, in a beautiful and well-preserved wooden structure. And visit the nearby Shangping Theater, Taiwan's first cinema, built in 1914 to entertain miners during Zhou Fun's heyday of mining. The village of Jingguashi is only a short bus ride from Zhou Fun. It's a lot quieter here, and the scenery is even better than in Zhou Fun. The Gold Ecological Park, a showcase of Jingguashi's gold mining legacy, is the village's main attraction. Touch the world record 220.30 kg ingot of 99.9% pure gold on display at the park's museum, and explore the old mining tunnels to get a sense of the conditions miners faced while digging for this and other metals. The sunsets here can be quite spectacular and dramatic, especially when there are clouds in the sky, which is common on the northeast coast. 3. Yeliu Geopark. Mountains meet the sea in a remote cape on Taiwan's northern coast, creating one of the country's most breathtaking natural landscapes. Welcome to Yeliu Geopark where millennia of wind and sea erosion, as well as other geological forces, have sculpted a section of the Datan Mountains into oddly shaped rock formations that span the 1.7-kilometer cape. The area appears from above to be a giant turtle sinking into the sea, but from the ground, Yeliu Geopark is a geological wonderland with golden rock formations of all shapes and sizes. The most well-known is Queen's Head, a rock formation said to resemble Queen Elizabeth I of England or Queen Nefertiti of Egypt. Yeliu Geopark is popular with tourists, and the rock formations can become quite crowded. It's best to arrive early, but sunset provides a particularly beautiful view of the rock formations. Explore the expansive grounds, where many well-preserved trilobite fossils can be seen and lodged on the rock bed. Examine the Geopark's numerous interesting natural features, such as mushroom rocks, sea candles, and breathtaking ocean views. Keep in mind that the park becomes extremely dark after dusk, which can be hazardous for visitors unfamiliar with the terrain. 4. Shilin Night Market. Shilin Night Market, one of the top places to visit in Taiwan for a true slice of local life, is a night market that primarily focuses on street food. After the sun goes down, tourists and locals alike flock to the market to sample fried delicacies and local delicacies. Make sure to haggle with the street vendors as they try to make a buck off of tourists. Aside from food, the market also sells vintage cassettes, arcade games, and other interesting items. This is the place to go if you want to get the real Taiwan experience rather than just seeing the tourist attractions. 5. Rainbow Village, Taichung 
The Rainbow Village is a one-of-a-kind street exhibit that plays an important role in Taiwan tourism. Huang Yang Fu, a former soldier with a passion for art and painting, conceptualized the idea first. The project began as a way to save and restore houses in his neighborhood, but it has gradually gained popularity due to the artsy, unique, and colorful designs and patterns of birds, people, and various animals. In 2014, the Taichung city government agreed to keep the village and turn it into a public park. Huang, now 98, was allowed to stay and continue his daily routine of painting the village and greeting visitors. Whether you are an art lover or not, a trip to this region is highly recommended because it is an important part of Taiwanese culture. 6. Dragon and Tiger's Pagodas, Kao Xiang The Dragon and Tiger Pagodas are temples located on Lotus Lake in Kaohsiung's Zuiyang district. The artificial pond on which it is located was built in 1951, and the two temples were built soon after, in 1976. It is considered one of the most interesting attractions in the district. Both towers have seven floors, yellow walls, red pillars, and orange tiles, and are linked to the lake's shore by a zigzag bridge. Because the dragon and tiger are so important in traditional Kaohsiung culture, it is always recommended that visitors enter through the dragon's mouth and exit through the tiger's mouth in order to get rid of bad luck and turn it into good. Within the towers, there are double spiral staircases that bring everyone in and out, as well as interesting paintings depicting various Buddhist and Taoist characters and ancient stories. The pagodas are without a doubt one of the greatest architectural marvels of Taiwan's southern part, attracting a large number of visitors eager to visit them in order to turn their bad into a good, with the hope that they will only do good deeds during their lifetime. 7. Sun Moon Lake, Nantu. Sun Moon Lake, located about two hours from Taipei, is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Nantu. A park, beautiful forests, and exhibits of old weapons and handicrafts surround the lake. The name, Sun Moon Lake, was derived from the lake's appearance. With Lalu Island in the center, one side of the lake resembles a crescent moon, while the other resembles the sun. Sun Moon Lake, Taiwan's largest freshwater body, is located at an elevation of 762 meters in the mountains of Nantu County in central Taiwan. With pleasant weather all year, easily accessible sites, and a plethora of outdoor activities, it's no surprise that it's one of Taiwan's most popular tourist destinations. Due to the recent drought, the water level at Sun Moon Lake has dropped to less than 30% of its total capacity, raising concerns about water supply. There are a number of hotels and resorts located around the lake that will provide you and your family with a relaxing weekend getaway. To get a better view of the lake, take a ferry ride into the waters or take a cable car ride, a unique aspect of Taiwan tourism, to get a higher perspective of the lake and other scenery. 8. National Palace Museum, Taipei. National Palace Museum, a major Chinese art museum in Taipei that houses many of the Chinese imperial collection's art holdings. The museum houses over 650,000 art objects and documents that were previously housed in Beijing. The majority of the museum's art holdings were once part of the imperial art collection in Beijing, which derived primarily from the extensive collecting activities of Qing, Manchu, Dynasty Emperor Qianlong, reigned 1735-96. His and his successor's art holdings remained in the Imperial Palace in Beijing as a private collection until 1925, when China's Republican government converted the palace into the Palace Museum. The National Palace Museum's collection spans over 4,000 years of Chinese history, from the Shang to the Qing dynasties. Its Chinese painting collection is one of the best in the world, with many important masterpieces from the Tang, Song, Ming, and Qing dynasties. 9. National Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall. This monumental structure was built as a tribute to Chiang Kai Shi the president who was instrumental in Taiwan's formation and served until his death in 1975. Today, the structure stands as a memorial to his contributions to Taiwan's development and transformation into the city that it is today. The most recognizable feature of the memorial hall, however, has to be the stunning blue octagonal roof. The white octagon-shaped building rises 76 meters and is covered in blue tiles with red accents, echoing the Republic of China flag. The eight sides represent the number eight in Chinese culture, which is traditionally associated with fortune and wealth. The two sets of 89 steps represent Chiang's death age and lead up to the main hall, which houses a large bronze statue of Chiang guarded by military personnel who change every hour. 10. Shifen Waterfall. Shifen Waterfall, also known as Taiwan's Little Niagara Falls, is an essential part of Taiwan sightseeing. The waterfall is set in a beautiful, lush green forest and is a sight for sore eyes. Although it is not the tallest structure on the island, it is by far the widest at 40 meters. This waterfall, set in a beautiful forested mountainside setting, frequently delights visitors with a bright rainbow on sunny days. The waterfall's colorful display has also earned it the moniker, Rainbow Pond. 
The horseshoe-shaped waterfall is a natural wonder that draws a large number of tourists each year. Schiffen Village, located near the waterfall, hosts a beautiful lantern display at night for tourists and locals alike. Schiffen was named after the ten founding families of the area. Schiffen is only a short walk away from Schiffen Old Street, which runs alongside the Pingxi Branch Railroad Line. You may notice some interesting holes in the riverbed while visiting Schiffen Waterfall. The uneven flow of the river creates vortexes that trap passing rocks, causing them to spin and carve deep holes at various points along the river. This constant erosive action has resulted in potholes, which are most prevalent in the Dahua Station area. If you like our content so far, please do check out our other videos at the end of this video. Before you go, one of the things worth mentioning is that Taiwan was a Japanese colony for 50 years from 1895 to 1945, when the island was taken over by China's then nationalist government after Japan lost the war. There are a total of nine national parks that you can visit while in Taiwan. Thanks for watching.